What's up, family? Welcome to Ask to My Ots, where today I'm going to challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. Hey, what's up, fam? I'm going to make this relatively quick because um, I think it'll add some value to you as well as to your relationship. The missus and I were about to go into a couple's counseling session, so I told her I wanted to do this because we saw this in our last counseling session with another couple. So, you know, I think it'll give some um, some some benefit not only to you but also to, to your relationship. But the thing that I want to talk about, I want to encourage you all to be patient in your process individually and also be patient in your process collectively. You know, people think that going through therapy or people think that going through any type of relationship education that they you know change is going to occur overnight they think that you know if i just snap my fingers if i talk to them my eyes that you know everything will be automatically resolved and i just want to say no it's a process it's a process y'all and one thing that we're noticing um, when we're working with couples is that you know some people are having difficulty around this whole emotional piece and more often than not it's men you know just opening up and expressing themselves now being as though i'm in the counseling session with my wife um that to some degree gives Gives them an added sense of security and lets them know that it's okay to open up. But even still, there's some difficulty when it comes to opening up and being vulnerable and expressing yourself emotionally. So there's um, one thing that I want to talk about today, and that's um, this 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 idea of alexithymia. Alexithymia. Um, you know, there's some research around why people just are having difficulty around emotional expression, emotional awareness. And so what alexithymia is, it is a difficulty to identify the source of emotions. It's a difficulty to identify the emotions and also a difficulty to express the emotions. So some people are actually diagnosed with alexithymia. And um, I think anywhere from 7 to 10% of men and women who are in relationships are, um, you know, having difficulty with this whole emotional piece, this alexithymia. So it's real, y'all. I mean, some of you all probably are saying to your spouse, like, why can't you talk to me? Why aren't you opening up? But again, there's limitations when it comes to opening up because sometimes they may not know where the emotions are coming from. They may not know what the emotions are, and they may not know how to express the emotions. Um, case in point, um, a lot of times when we're talking about feelings and stuff like that, you know, how many men do you know are willing and even women are willing to say that they feel embarrassed embarrassed is not a word that you hear adults use um, often how many people or how many adults do you hear say that they are ashamed um, you know those are not words that you know we regularly use when it comes to interpersonal relationships so again you know even if you're in a regularly functioning relationship um, you know, you may you may not be using these types of words. And those aren't like big words, or, you know, words that we don't know about. But when it comes to emotional awareness and our ability to express those words, you know, they're not, they don't come to the forefront of our minds. So again, y'all, I really just want to encourage you to be patient in your process, be patient with your partner, and be patient with the process of your relationship. If you need some assistance when it comes to identifying the source of those emotions, identifying what the emotions are, and then also expressing, learning to give life and give voice of those emotions, then we would be more than willing to help. In order to take your relationship to the next level, you got to make a commitment to stop playing and start pushing.